Hey guys, what's going on? It's been a little while since I put out one of these weekly bungee posts or the weekly blog post or the twa, whatever you want to call it, but there's a whole bunch of information this week that I think is definitely warranting a video. So we're going to get right off to the races here. We're going to get started right away. And if you're a big Destiny fan and you didn't know this, well, shame on you, but the Outbreak Prime, which is now known as the Outbreak Perfected, is available in Destiny 2. It's available through a quest with a mission at the end similar to the black spindle it's a it's a i don't know i want to call it a dungeon because it's not like that but it's a it's a it's an event or it's a it's a quest where you're, you're timed and you have to get through it there's a jumping puzzle there's a there's there's trevor you, you'll you'll learn about trevor and then there's a boss fight at the end you got to kill all the enemies once you do all that if you get through it that is going to give you the outbreak perfected and then you go back you do it again it's it's heroic it's, uh, it's modified but yes, it's live. Uh, it has to do with uh, the weekly heroic uh, on Titan. It has to do with the quest from the Rat King. All this is going to be explained in another video I'll be putting out soon, very soon. Uh, but that's just this video is just talking about what's covered in the TWAB or this week at Bungie. So it's live. It went live at reset earlier this week. So if you're interested, go check it out. Uh, like I said, if you're a fan of Destiny, I'm sure you know about it already. If not, well, now you do. And there's plenty of information out there, uh, YouTube, Reddit, you'll find it, you'll find it. Like I said, if you want to wait around, I'll be putting out a video going over how to access this quest, how to find the quest, how to start the quest, and what you need to do to complete the quest. So that's that, that's the big news, that's, that's my biggest news, uh, but um, there's a whole bunch of other good stuff coming in. So Season of Opulence, right now we're in the Season of the Drifter, but Season of Opulence is going to be our next season in Destiny, and we have a start date, it's kicking off June 4th, so we're roughly a week, uh, a week, a month away, maybe a little bit less. Um, there's going to be a change in power, there's going to be a new raid, uh, speaking of the raid, they are, what they are changing is, let me just read this word for word, since the raid is always a race. Um, they're trying to level the playing field a little bit, trying to level that playing field a little bit so people can't stock up on stuff, and then as soon as the season options goes live, they cash in all this, all these rewards, all this stuff, and then they get a, a higher power. So what they're doing is Last Wish and Scourge of the Past will be unavailable until Crown of Sorrow, which is the new raid, Crown of Sorrow is the name of the new raid. Uh, Last Wish and Scourge of the Past will be unavailable uh, until Crown of Sorrow is beaten. What this is going to try to do is it's going to limit players from stashing their Eternal Keys and using them all to just, you know, increase their power really, really quickly. But when does this Crown of Sorrow go live? Well, it goes live day one, uh, a few hours after you, um, we get this opulence, Season of Opulence. So the Season of Opulence is, of course, going to drop at... 10 a.m. Pacific, which is always when these things go live, 10 a.m. Uh, bungee time, 10 a.m. Pacific. And then, uh, let me see here, six hours later, so at 4 p.m. Pacific time, the new raid, the Crown of Sorrow, will go live. And it even tells us the f recommended power for the first encounter is 715. So, for those six hours, you got to be grinding to try to get up as close to that 715 or maybe even above it, if possible. Uh, so there's that. That's really all they gave us as far as information on Season of Opulence. Uh, they said in the next coming weeks there's going to be more to discuss, uh, you know, what to expect from this season and what, what they're introducing. There's going to be some new stuff. I know they've been talking about or they've showed on the roadmap a new six-player match-made activity. Very curious about what this is going to be. Uh, so stay tuned here to the channel. And of course, as these weekly bounties, or weekly bounties, weekly um updates come out i plan on uh filling you guys in on what's going on so now that there's news <laughs> now that there's stuff to talk about i want to keep talking about it so if you guys are a fan of iron banner you guys are a fan of the crucible um most likely iron banner but the crucible as well uh for season of the drifter we have the final week of iron banner coming starting next reset that's may 14th running through may 21st and the weapon you're going to be going for is the grenade launcher and a hand cannon so if you uh, want those, go and get them. Go and get them. And of course, there's going to be increased valor during the event as well. It's also going to be your last chance to get the um, this this bounty or this this emblem that they're showing that I'm going to show here too because I always forget the name of it. And it's the heavy as death, heavy as death. So this is when you're um, uh, you use the what is it called? The iron burden. 
hold on, I'm reading this so I don't screw this up. Oh, so you have that, that Iron Burden, which basically decreases your power by 100 when you go in and play in Iron Banner. Decreases your power by 100. Uh, if you get kills during that, you get this emblem, but you gotta get 2,500 kills. And it was during the entire course of Iron Banner this season. So, sorry for just finding out about it from me. I'm uh, bring, breaking the news to you a little bit late, but hey, that's what it is. Of course, so since we're talking about the ending of the season, all your triumphs, all your all every, anything related to season of the Drifter, has to be completed uh, before June 4th. Before June 4th, when the new season of the Opulence goes live. Uh, earlier this week, uh, patch 2.2.2 came out, and I'm not going to go through all these. I'll post these up on screen as well. But a whole bunch of issues were fixed. Uh, some minor, some a little bit larger, but uh, all these fishy, all these fishies, man. Speaking is not going well right now. All these issues were addressed in... in um, okay, take a break. Take a breath. All these issues were addressed in update 2.2.2. There you go, guys. That's not a hard sentence to say. I finally did it. Um, but yes, so they're constantly, obviously, pushing out these patches and up updating the game. And when they do that, errors come into the game. But then they push out more patches that fix the parts of the game that they broke. So... Nothing new there. We've been seeing that all the time. All the, all the time. Uh, other than that, guys, if you like the uh, image I used for my thumbnail of the Outbreak Prime, they have that in the update or in the in the TWAB. You can download that all the way up to 4K if you want to use it as wallpaper or something like that. Um, post the link down below in the, uh, the description if you want to go check out the TWAB and read it word for word. Of course, there's always a little bit of information I leave out. This is just the highlights and the things I feel are important to talk about. Other than that, I am starting to get pretty excited for Season of Opulence. I was very excited and still am very excited about getting the Outbreak perfected because uh, I still don't have it. I've gotten all the way up to the final part, the final encounter. I guess that's the word I was trying to find before, encounter. And I have not been able to complete it. We've... Uh, Tried it a couple times, but unsuccessful so far. I, you know, the encounter is 690 to begin with, but the final boss, I believe, is up to like a 700. So make sure you bring your power and make sure you bring some friends. This is up to a three player activity. You can go in and do it solo. I've seen it done, uh, but not me yet. Not yet. You say here, I say yet, but uh, maybe maybe one day soon. You guys stay tuned to, to, stay tuned to the channel. We'll see if we can do that. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you did enjoy. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you got any questions about anything I told you, or you think something's wrong, or you don't agree, or you just want to comment, there's a comment section. Go put it down there. I'd love to read it. Other than that, thanks for watching. Hope you did enjoy, like I said before. Uh, and that's it. I'll see you next time.